A breaking news update to bring you right now. We've learned from our affiliate in Connecticut that police have arrested the so-called East Coast rapist. He's accused in more than a dozen attacks between 1997 and 2009. ABC2 News' Cheryl Connor has been following the developments in this story. And Cheryl, what's been, what have you been hearing here? Well, Rosie, we are certainly getting more details. They're coming into the newsroom. What I can say is a suspect who is believed to be the man dubbed the East Coast rapist was arrested in New Haven, Connecticut. The U.S. Marshal's Office acted on a lead from authorities in Virginia and caught up with him this afternoon. Now, earlier this week, we talked to a lead detective in the case after a task force launched a media push to generate new leads. Billboards went up along the East Coast showing the man's composite sketch from three attacks. He is linked by DNA to 12 rapes and several more attacks in Maryland, Virginia, Rhode Island, and Connecticut, dating back to 1997. The most recent was on Halloween in 2009, where two 17-year-old trick-or-treaters told police they were raped in the woods. Another friend was with them and also attacked. The man said to be in his 40s now was known to wear a dark mask and carry a handgun or some other weapon. He typically approached his victims by trying to gain their confidence. The East Coast rapist eluded authorities for 14 years, but today he may finally be in custody. And I want to show you, we are following this story online as well. If you log on to abc2news.com, we have a breaking news banner at the top. If you click on the East Coast Rapist there, you will be led to this story. And we are going to update this story throughout the night. What we still are hoping to learn from authorities, they're going to hold a news conference at 630 in Prince William County, is the man's name and also any more details on how they were able to finally catch up with him. Again, that task force launched a media push just a week ago. They got several hundred leads. And then finally, it looks like we're able to catch up with the East Coast rapist after 14 years of attacks. Rosie, we'll be following this throughout the night. We'll join you.